Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Art 6. This is quarter 3 using the Learner's Packet by Lim. This is Lesson 4, Week 4, Concepts of Photography. Today, millions of people around the world own cameras and enjoy taking pictures. Every year, more than 10 billion exposures are made with still cameras. Today's digital technology makes it possible to take photographs without film. These are called digital cameras. Many good pictures have also been produced using a smartphone camera. After going through this lesson, you are expected to discuss the concepts and principles of photography. Photography Photography is the process of making pictures by means of capturing light on a light-sensitive medium such as a sensor or film. Light patterns reflected or emitted from objects are recorded onto a sensitive medium or storage chip through a tired exposure. The most common process is done through mechanical, chemical, or digital devices known as camera. Traditionally, the product of photography has been called a photograph. The term photo is an abbreviation. Many people also call them pictures. In digital technology, the term has begun to replace photograph. Photography is practiced on a professional level for portraiture and for various commercial and industrial applications, including photographs for advertising, illustration, display, and record keeping. Uses of photography. 1. Press photography. 2. Industrial photography. 3. Aerial photography. And 4. Biomedical photography. 1. Press photography. It is used for newspaper and magazine illustrations of topical events and objects. 2. Industrial photography includes the generation and reproduction of engineering drawing, high-speed photography, and many other of technical photography. Number three, aerial photography used for military investigations and mapping, civilian mapping, urban and highway planning. 4. Biomedical photography Used to reveal or record biological structures, often a significance in medical research and treatment. Here are the benefits of digital photography. 1. You can take several photos and view them instantly. 2. They are easy to store. 3. You can print the photo you want. 4. More creative control. You can use the computer or photo editing software to enhance picture. 5. Instant and easy photo sharing, such as website, email, and photo gallery. Learning task number 1. Observe and compare the two pictures below. Then answer the questions that follow. Write your answer in your notebook. We have picture A and picture B. A. Which one has a good quality picture? B. What makes it a good one? Answer learning task 1 on your own. Learning task number 2. 
search for six words that you can relate with photography. Write your answer in your notebook. We have lens, picture, subject, digital, camera, and flash. Here are the answers. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and write your comment in the comment section below. Number one, we have lens. Correct. Next, we have picture. Correct. We have subject. Check. Digital. Check. Camera. Check. And six, we have flash. Check. Learning task number three. Analyze the pictures and answer the process questions below. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, what objects are shown in the picture? Number two, what are the differences you notice? Number three, which do you prefer to use in taking more creative pictures? Why? Answer learning task number three on your own. Learning task number four, right-click if the statement is correct and leave the space when it is not. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, photograph is the product of photography. Number two, digital camera is a technology that can take images without film. Number three, photograph serve as a work of art only. Four, we can do creative shots using a camera film. And five, photography is the process of taking pictures by means of capturing light on a sensor film. Here are the answers. Number one, click. Number two, click, check. Number three, blank, check. Number four, click, check. And number five, click, check. Assessment. Learning task number five. Discuss the concepts and principles of photography by answering the questions below. Be guided by the rubric in doing your work. Do this in your notebook. Assessment. What is the importance of photography in your life? This is the rubric. Four criteria. Four excellent. Three very satisfactory. Two satisfactory. One poor. Write your rating for content and mechanics. And for your reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. 1. I understand that blank. 2. I realize that blank. And number 3. I need to learn more about blank. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.